I don't know, there's spouts everywhere. We see six or seven in one go. Um, we jump in, I'm the first one in, I got the camera. We do not take our, our dive gear. Uh, so I'm snorkeling up uh, towards them and I obviously forgot my snorkel as well. So I'm swimming towards these two whales that are coming. As I'm coming closer and closer, you can just see the back come up and it's, uh, it's uh, quite, a, quite a majestic sight, if you will. And um, I'm coming really close. I'm about 10, 15 meters away and I look over the, the surface and I see uh, them grasping for one last breath and down they go. I, uh, I press record and uh, all I can see is these two, uh, two shadows um, diving towards the deep and, um, and I uh, put my head over the water again and uh, I'm just thinking, shit, um, I missed it. I had one shot, I'm this close and, uh, and I missed it. And in the distance we had a huge um well, like kind of spray cloud from the from the whales, and we saw this big uh, black kind of shadow in the water. So uh, the boat crew said, "Should we go have a look?" So I said, "Of course, let's go have a look." And um, yeah, when we got closer, it was a huge, huge whale. At first, um, I thought it was a humpback whale, but uh, the closer we looked at it, um, it looked more and more like a sperm whale. Also, we had a baby coming. Um, nice and close to the boat he kind of played a little bit with the boat and then um, I think his mom got a little bit upset with him and then kind of told him to come back and then um, yeah he disappeared and then they kind of disappeared again um, so we went out on a speedboat because we heard that um, there, there was some sperm whale sightings around and we decided that oof, this uh, this might be a good opportunity to get to see some not many people have seen them I think and uh, not many people have snorkeled with them and uh, we went out out of the atoll and uh, we started looking and looking and looking and um, Philip saw a, a water spout from very far away and we're like, what is that? What is that? Could that be it? And uh, we pushed full speed and we got there and surely enough, yeah, that was it. And we saw these huge majestic animals and they were just stunning to look at. We saw them, then we called uh, the dive center and uh, Mike and Ray came out trying to get some good footage of the whales. Obviously come back onto the boat. Uh, Want to give another go but uh, we are running late with time. We also have this video show that needs to be done later that evening. So me and Ray we have to head back to, to get this started and uh, meanwhile while we are uh, offloading Armin and John onto the other boat so they can hang around for a while and hopefully get uh, a second go or a third go at this and hopefully get some photos for us. Uh, I'm sitting on the boat and I'm trying to, to convince myself that uh, okay, at least I got to see the whales even though it was from the surface and uh, it's a unique experience and all that but deep inside I am, I am a little bit uh, heartbroken that I got that close and I, I, I just didn't get the shots that I want. I never got to see them uh, under the water there. It took us probably something like 30 minutes to get there. It's really, really far out. It was really far out, let's say. Some like I believe 25 kilometers out in the blue ocean and uh, there we were just from a distance already we could uh, see the spouts of uh, the whales there and everybody get ballistic and totally excited got into the water tried to do it very carefully and gone again finally we just made another round there what it was an hour later probably took our time let them calm down don't want to scare them off and uh, my thought was there okay I give a heck to all the other people as soon as the engine stops and we are close enough I'm in the water and then finally I looked to the right side and there were this three or four of them even with a little uh, what do you call this kid uh, wow all happens in a couple of seconds and uh, I just got four pictures out of it and I was you happy on I was just breathtaking just absolutely breathtaking mind-blowing Whatever. I looked up and where was the boat and I couldn't even see it. It was, uh, whoa, really, really far ahead. I didn't realize that I swam so far away. Uh, we start heading back to the island and the, uh, the guy driving our boat, he, uh, he, uh, he turns to us and he goes like, look, uh, Mike, Ray, there's, uh, there's two whales that are just circling and hanging around on the surface. They're not moving very far. And uh, me and Ray, we look at each other and we go like, um, okay, one, one last go. One last go. So we go in nice and slowly. Ray's got his big camera there. I got the uh, the big underwater housing and everything, and we start cruising up 
to follow these two and I can see them from the surface just looking up I can see the the backs arching and the spouts coming and we're getting closer and closer uh, we started to see a tail fin of this one guy and we're swimming and we're swimming and we're swimming and uh, even though they are not moving uh, believe me they are very fast one one little kick with their with their tail fin there and they sh off they go so um, but I managed to come up uh, right uh, behind one in a bit of an angle and uh, I'm swimming really hard now to try to to uh, come up towards the front of uh, of this sperm whale uh, and then all of a sudden Ray pulls my fin and I'm thinking okay so I tilt my head out of the water again and he's uh, telling me that the one in front of the one that I'm following is now turning to the right so he's like let's try to intercept them so Ray he's going to the right taking photos of the first one while I'm kind of getting into an angle to, to intercept the second one and this is when um, when he comes close to the surface and I'm getting this um, side shot um, and it's quite quite difficult because even though I got the wide angle lens on I cannot get the whole whale in the picture at first and same as the first one this one he turns a little bit and he has a look at us and and then they uh, they uh, swim off and that's the uh, that's the uh, footage that we got and all of a sudden I hear Ray shouting in his snorkel and uh, I actually turn to to uh, to look at Ray that is just right behind me and <laughs> uh, next to me is this uh, magnificent animal right next to me and it's amazing how how the biggest thing in the ocean can become invisible to you. I was so focused on following these other two so when this third one came up from the side I, I wasn't expecting it it's uh, it's the most euphoric experience in my life realizing at that very second that I'm looking at a whale and uh, it's looking uh, right back at me and uh, second thought was uh, I got the shot I got the shot <laughs>